Hello, and welcome to Move It Weekly. I'm Tyler from Picnic, and this is a bit of a special episode. So last week I was at CPP Con, that's why there wasn't a Move It Weekly episode, and I gave this as a lightning talk, and I'm recording it again uh, for this because I think it's really useful for people writing C++ code um, generally. But specifically for people who are writing C++ code in the ROS world, um, whether you're working on Move It or you're writing code for your own robot application, dependency injection is a really important um, idea to understand and to have good tools for. So why do you want to do dependency injection? You want separation of concerns. You don't want to create a giant code base where all your code is interdependent on each other. Um, that makes it really hard to change and it makes it really hard to test. Um, you want your dependency minimal and explicit, like you only want to depend on the things you use in any given piece of code and you want mocking for testing. So here is a pretty, I don't know, basic and common way that you would expect to mock something. Um, in C++, it's really normal for you to have classes with inheritance and to use that as mocks, um, or at least it's um, idiomatic to a lot of people. So in this example, we have this, uh, we're mocking this client for cost. Um, it has one function, we're gonna overwrite it and we're gonna return just point three. And then there's this optimizer object that we have to create a unique pointer to this thing to hand it to because it needs a pointer to it of some type and we want a scoped pointer so we use unique pointer um here is the code behind that or at least a little bit of the code um we have some sort of again we we need to be able to calculate some cost value based on some state uh, so we create an interface for that and we inject it into our optimizer and then we have to have a unique pointer to the client interface so that you can either receive the real one whatever the real one is, or the one from testing. Here is my alternative uh, solution. Use standard function. Standard function is really cool because it allows you to specify an exact interface. Functions are really cool because they take exactly, their, their inputs are their parameters, it's super declarative, and their outputs are their outputs, or are the, are the return value. Um, and so, in this case, um, I wrote uh, optimizer to take a cost function and then my test becomes much, much simpler. It becomes really easy to write because it's just a lambda. And in fact, this also becomes easy to write, easier to write at the call site because I now I don't have to write a bunch of boilerplate code that inherits from some interface. I can just pass in a function. Anyway, I hope this is a, as cool to you as it is to me. It's really simplified a bunch of my code. Um, thank you. I'm Tyler Weaver. This last slide just has my name on it and it's over my face because of the, um, the thing. Um, have a great week and I'll see you next week.